Whew, all sorts of snowy. I think I'm about ready to go explore now. There's also that one house with it, <coughs> which was a uh, murder scene or something I had to check out while I'm here before I uh, take the uh, teleport to Frostcrag and see if I can't make myself a better uh, unlocking spell. Hmm. Not sure if I should really even bother with sneaking down here, because I don't know if there's anything down here to worry about. Also, I should check my skills, I guess. Armorer, that's the one I'm looking for. Armorer. Definitely should have... These two should definitely have been uh, swapped places. No, a mud crab. So this takes me straight to the mountains. What does the other path go? Or <clears throat> where does the other path go? Which actually makes sense here. What did I miss with that? Well, that was disappointing. There's nothing here. Two mud crabs, no loot. I suppose at the very least, I. Oh, yeah, that's why the dungeons just. It's learn to speak. That's why the dungeons are so dark. I just remembered that I still have darker dungeons installed. I'll just go the uh, this way, get myself back into town quicker. I th I think the uh, murder mystery house is on this side of town as well. Did I just? Aha! More money. Come to think of it, I ought to check the uh, quest log. Because I'm pretty sure the uh, murder mystery had a uh, quest associated with it. I had to do this while I'm here as well. Ah, two houses back. <laughs> oh, 
Excuse me. I, I'm sorry. I can't right now. This area is off limits to anyone except the Bruma City Watch. Please. You're going to have to leave. This is a crime scene, and no one other than ourselves, our Reynold Dreyfus, will be allowed access. The culprit in this crime has already been dealt with. It's just a matter of wrapping up the details. I'd tell you more, but frankly, I don't know who you are, so I'm not sure that I can trust you with that sort of information. Good day. You're going to have... The culprit in this crime, I... Hmm. <clears throat> well, I guess there's really nothing there to do until I find that guy. Let's see if I can't uh, take, get this one taken care of real quick while I'm here. If not, I'll just uh, head off to the tower. I've heard much about your deeds from my people in Bruma. I trust the stipend Tolgan gave you whetted your appetite. Yes, that's why I'm here. Good point. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm Countess Narina Kavain. I assume you've noticed all the Akaviri relics I'm displaying. Well, it's safe to say I'm a collector of sorts. I've invested a great deal of time and money acquiring these bits of ancient history. In fact, I'd be so bold as to proclaim my collection the most complete in all Cyrodiil, perhaps even beyond. Except for one thing. A particular relic has eluded me for many years. Possessing this piece of Akaviri antiquity would make my collection complete. I'm of course referring to the Draconian Madstone. And what is that? The stone is a fine bit of Akaviri craftsmanship. Worn like an amulet, this talisman is said to protect the wearer from poisons of any type. The madstone appears as a snake coiled around and encircling itself. The eyes of the snake are supposed to be precious gems or some such. Through my sources, I've learned that the last reported location of the madstone was the ruins at Pale Pass. Are you familiar with the history of Pale Pass? No, I am not. Back at the end of the first era, raiders from the continent of Akavir attempted to gain a foothold here in Tamriel. At that time, the Empire was broken into smaller factions. Raymond Cyrodiil decided to unify them and form an army to repel the Akaviri raiders. The force became known as the Army of Raymond. The two armies clashed in what's now Northern Cyrodiil. The Akaviri were strong and well supplied. But their greatest error was marching through Morrowind on the way to their objective and dismissing the response it would garner from Vivek. They didn't count on Lord Vivek forming an alliance with the trident kings of the Dreg. From Morrowind he struck so that's how you pronounce it. Not only did this make the Akaviri fight on two fronts, it also cut off access to reinforcements and supplies from the sea. So the Alliance ended the conflict. Not quite. The army of Raymond knew that the organized Akaveri forces were commanded from a hidden post in the mountains. Rumors placed it in a snowy vale called Pale Pass. That's where Raymond focused his attention. As his forces fought their way across the Gerald Mountains, the Akaviri suddenly surrendered. It was assumed they were overwhelmed and gave up. 
The only strange part was that the command post and Pale Pass were never found. It was dismissed as a rumour and the army of Raymond celebrated. It's come to my attention that the post did exist, and it happens to be the last reported location of the Draconian Madstone. Hmm, well that's interesting. If you retrieve the Draconian Madstone for me, I'll be happy to compensate you by rewarding you with another Akaviri artifact. Are you game? Sure. I had a feeling you'd accept. Good. Then let me tell you how you're going to find the Madstone. I've come into the possession of a diary, written by an Akaviri messenger. I suspect that the text within can lead you to the ruins. Here's a translation of the passages we could still read. It was quite damaged. I've also included a rough map that was drawn in the diary as well. I'm also providing you with a unique key that was supposedly found with the diary. I'm assuming it'll prove useful when you arrive at the site. I paid several scouts to try and find the ruins at Pale Pass before I hired you. They were only able to locate the first of a series of landmarks. These landmarks are mentioned within the diary. The one referred to as Dragon Claw Rock has been located. I'll mark it on your map. The rest is up to you. My scouts reported bitter cold and dangerous creatures in the area, so they couldn't proceed. Be cautious and return home soon. Good luck. Yep, that sounds like something to put off for a long time. Be free of danger. I honestly was not expecting that to become a whole new quest. I'm guessing it's because I misread that. Alright. Either way, let's get out of here, head back to the tower, see if I can't build my or make myself a uh, higher level unlocking unlocking a spell and head on over to the Azure Shrine. Sideways power attack with a chance of disarming the opponent. Something I've never been able to get to actually pull off for myself, but it's happened to me a couple times. Kind of annoying. Open. Easy. Average. All right. Not sure what it means by area, but there we go. Oh, son of a bitch. Damn it. So what's that skill at, then? 47. Close. So I've got some other alteration magic, right? Okay, I'll just make sure to use this spell a lot. Train that skill up so I can make that spell. I wish it would let you, you know... Why am I trying to open that up? I'm not going to fast travel. I wish it would at least make you... Or let you make the spell like it did in Morrowind. I mean, sure, you can't use it, but it's, it's already made. And it's there for you to use when you're able to.
this current system, and I don't know, it's just a bit of unnecessary uh, idiot proofing, in my opinion. It's just like a way to avoid getting a bunch of people writing in letters of complaints. Woo, 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 woo. I bought this spell that higher than my skills allow me to cast and I can't cast it so I'm going to complain. Why is it raining? I'm in these snowy highlands and it's raining. What the hell? Well, that sneaking worked out pretty well. Whoa. Okay, that's quite enough staggering. That's goddamn annoying. I don't know why it happens to me so often. Mm -hmm. I'm about to die because I just keep getting staggered every time something hits me. Every single time. Just pop one of those and one of these, and hope that's going to be enough. One of these as well. Whoa. Yeah, the only problem I can really see with the healing spell I made is that it it's a lot more gradual than the other one. It's more uh, magic uh, efficient that way, I've found, but... Damn it, another clan fear. I think in this situation I need the shield more than I need the uh I'm not trying to change weapons. Oh my god, come on. It's not even a weapon. Seriously, that's not a weapon. Why is it? <sighs> whatever, whatever. Let's get back in the fight. Oh yeah, that'll be useful. Pretty gl yeah, glad I raided that that uh witch's hut. What I did. Oh, son of a bitch. You know, I really have to say, that's one of the biggest things I cannot stand about this game. The fact that there's just so much staggering. Like I said, it's pretty much every time I take damage, it's just getting staggered. Well, melee damage. This uh, magic and range stuff doesn't do much unless it's an arrow. Yeah! See if I get one more, I can create an Atronach, but I don't want. To. I guess I don't have any ingredients that increase ma or restore magicka. What a shame. You know what? I think for at least this one last time, I'll hop into a randomized uh, Oblivion Gate.